So season three of Reloaded is right around the corner. And normally speaking with season three would be about that halfway point on the year's offering in terms of content. If we're looking at like the last two years and the precedents that have been set. However, it's quite possible that this isn't the case this year as a sort of cyclical reset looks to be happening on the horizon with Modern Warfare 2. So today we're gonna be taking a look at what may be the first lack of season six year in Call of Duty with Warzone and Vanguard this year. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. Would you guys like to see a season six or would you prefer we go right into Modern Warfare 2? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, do be sure that subscribe button said video with all things Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, and anything Call of Duty related. We've got a lot upcoming here between Season 3 Reloaded next week and the reveals on the horizon for Modern Warfare 2. So if you're interested in staying up to date with all of that, I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, in anticipation of Season 3 Reloaded next week and the push towards more Modern Warfare 2 insight, my friends at G Fuel have bumped up the code Espresso to 30% off your entire order once again. A quick little turnaround here. So if you guys want to check out anything in regards to a restock, trying anything out for the very first time, now is as best a time as any. It'll save you a decent bit of cash per order. And I don't think my code will be 30% off until sometime next month again at the earliest. So if you're interested, I'd highly recommend Hype Sauce, Pink Drip, the new Morbius Nectarine flavor, Starfruit, and Strawberry Banana. Can't go wrong with any of those. Check the link in the description below if you're at all interested. But that said, let's get into it. So let's talk about this for a second. First and foremost, why wouldn't we see a season six? I mean, Black Ops Cold War had six seasons. Modern Warfare 2019 had six seasons. Black Ops 4 even had six seasons before the season system was really defined in the way of Operation First Strike, Absolute Zero, Grand Heist, Spectre Rising, Apocalypse Z, and Dark Divide. And in fact, we have to go all the way back to 2018, the last time that we haven't seen sort of six content additions or seasons added in, back when Call of Duty World War II was the primary title and the traditional DLC pack model, DLC 1 through 4, was still intact. But even that had seven seasonal events to accompany the larger DLC drops, adding thematic decor to the headquarters and various maps and weaponry. So when all signs seem to point towards six seasons being the standard, why are we considering that there may not be a sixth season this year? Well, there's a handful of reasons, the first of which was centered around the first two seasons and the time they lasted. We saw a handful of delays across pre-season one and throughout season two in that time frame of those two seasons. I don't think that anyone can deny in hindsight that even with a delay of season one, it could have been delayed further, especially on the Warzone side of things, to drop an integration and a brand new map all at once, all the issues that that caused, and then for the entire dev team to be on holiday until after the new year, well, it wasn't a fun time. Not by any standards here at that, it was entirely broken. But that was the first red flag. The next though was pre-season three, around that season 2.5 mark, and I believe even outwards to season three's update itself, haven't really heard anything on that front with the seasonal update of season three, but at least as of season 2.5 and likely season three, there was nothing in the game files about a season six. There was plenty about season four and some even about season five, but nothing about a season six, which is wildly uncharacteristic for game dev at this point in the year. For reference, there's usually about two seasons ahead in completed development, if not not more so when there's not even a basic outline of a season six during the season three launch that's kind of another red flag but let's take this third red flag perhaps this third strike and use it logically using reasoning as our sort of deduction point here for that potential dagger season one was initially delayed right that launched on the 8th of december to an initial length of 55 days however that timer pass wasn't accurate at one point they ended up adding some time to it but then we also got an extension officially for season one before getting season two so season two ended up launching on february 14th 68 days later nearly two weeks later than the expected from the initial timing of season one now season two actually lasted a whole lot longer up front 72 days as advertised by the day one battle pass as opposed to the measly 55 days that we saw with the initial advertisement of season one season three then launched on april 27th which was an accurate 72 days after that season two launch so that one was correct now, assuming no deviation in the current schedule, we should start seeing the mid-season update as of next week, and then season four likely kicking off on the 22nd of June next month, as denoted by that initial 56 day length on the season three battle pass from day one. This is now where we have to kind of deviate from hard evidence and straight up facts presented and attempt to take that same logic and apply it to the future. So bear that in mind. But let's say conservatively that each season here will last roughly 56 days again. It could be 55, could be 56, depending on how the months cross over so that we end up having to go from Wednesday to Wednesday whenever those updates normally happen. But 56 days from a season four launch date of June 2nd would take us to August 17th. And again, we'd see a presumed mid-season point four weeks in at that exact halfway point of 28 days sometime in July. Now, if we keep that same logic on another 56 days after that 
theoretical season five launch that would take us to Wednesday, October 12th, again, with a presumed mid season update in early to mid September, perhaps if we're talking exact halfway points on a season. And that would be the end of a season five when we'd normally look towards a season six. Now, normally that conservative timetable here with that would be a shorter period of time that would finish just shy of the next game's launch if that were to happen in November. But from what insiders are pointing towards, Modern Warfare 2 may very well be launching in October to perhaps the earliest launch date we've seen yet. That previous earliest launch date that we've seen was actually Modern Warfare 2019, which launched on October 25th of 2019. So theoretically, even this conservative number for a season five end date to when we'd normally see a season six start would potentially be dropping us right in the lap of a new game, which then oppositely, if we throw in one longer season, like a season two length of 72 days, that'd be another two weeks or so that would take us to the end of October instead of that midpoint of the month. So mathematically speaking, we don't really have a lot of time for a season six upcoming if we're thinking about it in that regard. But okay, Jordan, don't we normally see a crossover anyway between the final season of a game and the launch of a new one and then that season one to follow? Well, absolutely. And we have the last two years with Vanguard launching on November 5th, while Cold War season six went from October 7th to December 8th. And then a year before that, Cold War launched on November 13th, while Modern Warfare season six launched on September 29th and lasted until December 8th. So yes, these windows of time have in recent history overlapped and it's very possible this could happen again. However, one thing to keep in mind that may work against this theory of a season six, traditionally speaking, is how many of the COD eggs Activision has put into the Modern Warfare 2 basket. This year, objectively, speaking was a flop for Call of Duty. And as a fan, taking a step back and looking at the big picture, there are so many things you could maybe point the blame towards here on that. Firstly, maybe it could have been the lack of development time. One thing, and I don't mean to go off on a tangent here with this, I don't think we'll ever see it confirmed, but I genuinely believe that when Treyarch was pulled over to take over Cold War from Raven and Sledgehammer, I genuinely think that Sledge was kind of thrown into the fire with the sort of mentality of, you still need to finish a game for this time period. And they had no ability to truly create something from scratch in that time frame, so they built a predominantly MP game with a rather lackluster storyline for campaign, no real zombies, and a whole lot of reused items in the event of MP, but where it was kind of like, okay, we have to finish something, World War II was that last and most available thing to them, so they kind of built upon it and made a new game out of that, which is also where I think you could fault another aspect, the World War II setting. It's entirely burnt out. It's not the juggernaut that it was in the mid to late 2000s like it was beforehand, so it's just not something that hits players as hard as another era would. And maybe a third explanation here is the potential lack of innovation. I mean, we've had the same three years of similar UI, similar designs, similar menus, similar operator unlocks and weapon recreation, how you unlock things, and Vanguard was no exception to that. Even though I honestly don't have too much an issue with the MP experience, it's not new. I don't find myself playing it because I feel like I've done it for three years now at this point. It's a large expansion of Modern Warfare 2019 with a World War II skin on it. So whatever reasoning you want to look at it, objectively Vanguard did not meet standards and it even got beaten out for the first time in a 12 month span here as the best selling game on the market in that year. Elden Ring just recently knocked it out after like five months on the market. So Activision wants a rebound. They want a big win after a downslide. And with so much being touched on the new era of Call of Duty, which I think is if the current content schedule holds up and nothing has changed for this weekend, we'll elaborate on that a little bit further in another video. But a new era to me seems like a fresh start and a new reset, meaning that once Modern Warfare 2 comes out, this current connected window of three titles may become irrelevant. Maybe you'll still be able to rank up your overall rank plan Warzone or any of the other games, but I don't really see that with the launch of Modern Warfare 2, us continuing on with a season six where that overlap could end up happening. Instead, I think this just might be a hard reset like Modern Warfare 2019 was. We didn't have anything that allowed us to see a shared season six continue on from Black Ops 4 into Modern Warfare. Yes, Operation Dark Divide had an uncapped timer on it then where you could still play with it, but it wasn't something that progressed and gave you stuff in that game as well if you're playing Modern Warfare 2019. So that's something that is a very big question mark. And right now I'm kind of leaning towards the potential that we don't actually see a season six here within Vanguard and Warzone, kind of just letting it go here and moving on to the next thing sooner rather than later. Now, I will say that I can't recall off the top of my head where it was, but I swear I remember seeing some official language stating a season six of some kind here, but that was the only reference that I've ever seen of that. And it was kind of like a legal jargon type of thing where it's not necessarily guaranteed, but 
it could still happen, I guess. But anyways, I wanted to touch on this here with you guys because it's a topic of discussion that is a rather ambiguous one, one that I think could use some reasoning and some explanation behind it. But I want to gauge your thoughts and feedback down below. What do you guys think? Do you hope we see a season six within Vanguard and Warzone? Or again, would you just like to move on to Modern Warfare 2 and what may be upcoming? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, and anything COD related. We've got you covered here on the channel. So if you guys are at all interested, I'd love to have you in the community. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.